in the community I live in, there are several methods of uh, low carbon footprint vehicles we have tall ones which get around just fine and then we have the uh, the three-wheeler variety in, in addition there are some uh, rather Rube Goldberg operations although this one is at rest I'm sure one time it was uh, served its uh, purpose very well <clears throat> in addition there are uh, mobile homes which are uh, powered manually that get around and uh, camp out in the area in addition to more of the sit down style and small services that deliver things that uh, get around with human power groups come through on, on occasion with a variety of uh, vehicles including some which are a little obscure and kind of wonder what the purpose of them are but there's a two-seater there that works remarkably well hand powered is a must for some for obvious reasons and very get around very nicely. Now I've chose to make a few uh, Bockfist style uh, low carbon machines and I came up with uh, aluminum baskets on them which are uh, adaptable for a, a variety of purposes and uh, very easy to build. First you start with a bunch of eighth inch aluminum which you cut to fit and then you just simply start riveting together. I chose the aircraft rivets. They're easily accessible and they're very strong. Easy to work with. So you just start, I just start with the bottom, rivet that together and then just start putting on the uh, the sides and again you click them together and then just rivet, rivet them it goes together quite uh, rapidly and the one of the major uh, construction problems of is welding the two inch pipes to the uh, the plate and and that takes quite a bit of time but you can see that uh, it's easily modified the, the baskets from aluminum now you got to make a, a few machine parts here, here we're making uh, some uh, national fine, a uh, one inch national fine threads on uh, one inch uh, pipe. All this pipe is, is easily accessible. This is uh, one inch by 120 thousandths. Then you got to part some. This is like two and a quarter inch by uh, 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 250 thousandths. And then you got to bore it out in order to accept a race. Then when you get all done, you end up with the following machine parts, which accept uh, a 73 millimeter uh, English thread adapter, and then the different uh, parts that are required to make to make the framework. You, after you get the one inch together, you get a piece of, uh, of uh, 11 gauge. Uh, a steel drill a one inch hole in it and then make sure you you get it nice and square tack it on then flip it over and on the back side of the one inch you go ahead and weld that onto the 11 inch then when you get done you put a I put a piece of quarter inch flat on it make a nice little weld along the base of the one inch fit your bearing and then once you have uh, the bearing fit you put the collar in which again is uh, two and a quarter inch OD and that is the where the base of it attaches to the hinging point. Then the center section is a, a piece of pipe that's two inch, and then you machine it, and so it'll accept the, the two ends for the bottom bracket and the swivel point on the on the basket. I machined uh, the side plates of the New Vinci out of a quarter inch steel and then attached those to a mock-up with a very simple jig for the for the rear hub and then after I do that weld on the, the half inch tubing uh, to the, the center section and uh, place that then I make a, a, a splitter for the brakes as these vehicles are pretty heavy you want really good brakes so I, I make a, a splitter which is a 3 8 steel and then I make the case out of a stainless and then I attach it to the back of uh, the machine 
after I do that, I want to say a word about the, the batteries, these lithium-ion batteries. The one I have is uh, 17 amp hours, 48 volt, has 13 cells uh, in it. And the only thing I want to say about it is they're easy to, to fix, but you have to use the right kind of solder. You can't use just a store-bought solder. You have to use, I use a, a silver solder, a 3.8% silver, 0.7% uh, copper uh, solder, and then that sticks really nice. These are the, the uh, finished machines. Th this one here is kind of the convertible uh, one and they have a dual uh, 1000 watt electric uh, motors on the front of them and this one is dual a 17 amp hour 48 volt uh, batteries it's it's pretty heavy i attach the the controllers to the to the back of it and then you can see i've put the, the batteries all the way aft i i try to uh, change the c geometer to find out how they handle because these things are are kind of a, a problem to handle in that it's their tricycle and uh, there's a, a problem with tricycle vehicles and it's kind of a ground loop thing. Now this one here I put uh, 10 amp hour batteries in it, 48 volts, and uh, but again it, I attached to the back side with the controllers and the, the brakes are on all of them are the same, uh, disc brakes on all three wheels in addition to the uh, the new, new Vinci has, has a real nice brake set up. The, the uh, disc brake on it but the uh, I'm trying to experiment with try how to get these to uh, handle better this one here has the uh, 17 amp hour batteries underneath uh, a C I made for them because when these things turn if the uh, the track of the rear gets out of the track of the the two mains it does some pretty weird things you can see I've, I've fabricated a little uh, parking brake on this. So you can see how, how they pivot and what I propose to do is install this device here in uh, in place of the, the center section because that pivots. And another problem with them is those wheels on them have uh, zero uh, uh, I mean the torque is instant on them so you gotta really watch them. If you give them too much power on the front wheels going around a corner the thing wants to flip on you. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out a, a way to, to make it handle better. And if anybody can come up with an idea how to get these tricycle machines to uh, be less tricky, let me know. Um, but anyway, thanks for looking.